Update 2.0 is now live, and it is the weekly reset, so we will be going over what is available for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, update 2.0 is now live and there's a lot of things that have changed, so let's go over a little bit of what we can actually see. So, starting with the director. As you guys can see, the director has changed for Forsaken and we're gonna go ahead and go through the milestones and it's a little bit different now. So, as you can see for the milestones, we have Clan XP, which you earn Clan XP in Strikes, Raids, the Crucible, or World Activities. And now all of the other milestones are actually on the planets or the planetary destinations. And on Mars, we have the Flashpoint. And if you do the wonderful heroic versions of this, you can get it done a lot faster. Then we have Strikes, which you need to complete a strike in the Legacy Strike playlist, as well as Nightfall, which you need to complete a Nightfall Strike. One good thing about the new Nightfall is that we can choose between three different Nightfalls. We have the Pyramidian, Tree of Probabilities, as well as Strange Terrain. And all of these have the same mission modifiers, or at least this week it does, which they are Challenge Card, Equipment Locked, Arc Singe, Match Game, Iron, and Blackout. Now, coming over here down to the Crucible, we have two different ones which in quick play we need to complete three crucible matches as well as the same in competitive. Now that actually is all the milestones real quick. One thing that I did notice besides the fact that the weapon changes is that take this main ingredient for example, it's 381. Now when you come down to infuse it says the maximum power this item can be infused is 600. So when you take this one and then you look at this main ingredient which is a little bit higher to infuse all you need is 500 glimmer however since update 2.0 is actually active it went back to destiny 1 style so I can actually infuse any of these weapons into my main ingredient that's a 381 however depending on what weapon it is depends on what I actually need to upgrade it so let's say I wanted to uh, infuse this Uriel's gift into my uh, main ingredient I would need Glimmer, Legendary Shards, as well as Planetary um, planetary uh, Materials. Sorry about that. However, when it comes to an Exotic, all I need is Glimmer and Planetary Materials. And that goes for any Exotic, I guess. Yeah, so any Exotic. One thing to notice is that the Raid has been moved to Nessus. So you actually need to click on Nessus and actually come down to where it says Leviathan in order to access the raid or any of the raid layers. So, welcome to the tower, and as you can see, the Solstice of Heroes event is now gone. Now, given the fact that update 2.0 actually went live today, some of your weapons may actually be at the Postmaster, so if they are, go ahead and grab them. Um, I only have these wonderful uh, shaders here, which are going to be deleted. When it comes to our vault, our vault space has actually been increased from the 300 that it previously was to 500. So this gives us a whole lot of more space for our wonderful stuff to put in. Now let's see what Tess Everest has at the Eververse this week. What can I do Starting off audience? on the left hand side with our emotes, we have Curtain Call. Impatience For our vehicle we have the Vespi laser It's a cool little uh, speeder Then the armor of the week is for chests and for a hunter we have two mobility as well as resilience and this is what it looks like. Then for ornaments, we have the Hypnophonic for the Sleeper Simulant. Looks pretty cool. Then we have the Symbiosis for the Stern. Really? 
Reef and Ruins for the Telesto. The Braid Legacy for the Polaris Lance. And last but not least, War Beast Skin for the Legend of Acrius. For our Transmount effects, we have Traveler's Wake effects. And we have Guardian Gold, which I think actually looks terrible. For our shaders, we have the Omelon Meteor Gloss, Watermelon, Cerulean Divide, as well as Mercury Vex Chrome. And then last but not least, we have our boons for the Vanguard, Crucible, and last but not least, the wonderful Fire Team Medallion. Like I said, last but not least, twice. So, there is one thing that I forgot to mention while looking at the destination map of the Traveler, and that is somebody is actually missing. And that somebody happens to be our good old friend Cade 6. So, we will not be able to get any more treasure maps from Cade or any other type of maps. Not here. All gone. Goodbye. Goodbye, Cade! Goodbye! I need to take a picture with you. <laughs> now, this obviously is not everything in Update 2.0. However, I will put in the description the link to that update. That way, you guys can check out every single thing that has changed. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know. You just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more. Because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.